Wild feral hogs like these continue to plague South Georgia. This time of year, Rod Pinkston is busy stalking and shooting feral hogs every night with heat vision equipment. But to help in the fight, he has developed a smart weapon called mine. Instead of being in a tree stand over here and pulling the trigger with your rifle and killing one hog, how about pushing the button and catch the whole entire group? That's a more effective way of doing it. Pinkston has been using cameras to study wild hog behavior since 2004. Basically what we're using right here is the same principle we use in the military. With Hogs are smart, and once they've seen a trap, they will not return. So they need to catch the entire group at one time. We're employing with Intel, eyes on, pushing a button, detonating a remote. They fence in a cage inside a corn feeder machine set to go off at the same time every day. We'll have a motion detector where anything that walks through this door, it'll automatically send us a text message. And use the camera to scout the enemy. Here's a group of 12 shoats and four adults for a total of 16. Four or five days until the hogs trust the cage. All the juveniles run inside immediately. Now watch three of the four adults. They'll make a trip all the way around the outside of this trap. If this was set on a traditional trip wire, we would have missed three of the four breeders. The six hogs that are left outside the trap, we just got to be smarter than them. We'll let them go back inside through the threshold. Thank you, and we'll push the button on our remote. In less than 30 minutes, we had 100% success on that sounder group. A tactical victory using smart weapons to capture and kill the enemy. Pinkston says using night image hunting in the spring and then the mine trapping in the winter will be the way to solve many of South Georgia's hog problems. Jim Wallace, WALB News 10. Do you see him? Retired military snipers. You gotta shoot the one on the right. Just got a new mission. Put it right on the shoulder. From the American Farmer. When we retired, we switched from a two-legged enemy to a four-legged enemy. Why they're after feral hogs. They're not a game animal. We're not here to conserve them. Night Stalkers, Thursday on WALB News 10 at 6. Rod Pinkston prepares for the night's battle. But we're using the exact same equipment that we use in Iraq and Afghanistan. An ex-Army marksman, he uses thermal scopes to hunt an enemy that only comes out at night. Pinkston helped develop these instruments that show body heat in pitch black. When we retired, we switched from a two-legged enemy to a four-legged enemy. That's all we did. Their enemy now, feral hogs, a plague to South Georgia farmers eating their crops. Peanut seed, once you plant them, they root them up. We have to replant. It's, uh, it's never-ending. Pinkston runs Jaeger Pro, which means professional hunter. Clients pay him hundreds of dollars to attack the enemy, exercising what he calls their tactical gene. They've always wanted to be a soldier, a sniper, or a member of a SWAT team, and we give them that opportunity. Pinkston takes the clients to fields being destroyed by hogs and exterminates as many as possible. This night, they slowly creep up on a pack of nine. We're going to gain another 20 yards, and then we're going to take the shot. Then targeting through the thermal scopes, they open fire on the enemy. If you had a termite problem in your house, do you care that the, the pest control company kills the pregnant termites and the baby termites? No. You want the termites out of your house because that's your biggest investment. The farmers feel the same way. The hunters kill five hogs in this flurry. All right. They pick up the carcasses and take them to meat processors. This makes, let's see, 343 hogs that we've killed this year in 41 nights. That's right around a, an eight hog average. So we're a little bit under our quota. There are literally thousands of hogs in South Georgia damaging farms. The farmers feel like they're losing this war, so they welcome Pinkston and his hunters. The Night Stalkers head back out on another military-style mission, targeting an enemy, terrorizing farmers, trying to save their livelihood. Jim Wallace, WLB News 10.
Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the methods and technology needed to better control feral hog populations in your area.